The journey to transition from male to female is never easy and is fraught with social, emotional, and often medical hurdles. One local surgeon is taking on a small piece of that journey, knowing that when people have higher self-esteem, they have better lifelong outcomes. The surgery is called facial feminization surgery, and Paula Tutman joins us with one woman's about face that nearly completes her transition. At age 15, Devin started transitioning from male to female, taking hormone blockers to interrupt puberty. At age 22, at first glance, you may not have even given her a second thought. Oh, my little lady. But when Devin dissected her own appearance in the mirror or turned for a profile, it was something else entirely to her. Because I do have a brow bone, if you look to the side, the kind of like, sticking out part right there. And so in early July, she started taking the final steps of shedding the wrong gender, starting at the top. Dr. Laura Garcia of Henry Ford Health specializes in something called facial feminization surgery that takes those physical features produced with testosterone and softening them. And every millimeter counts. It is a very strenuous surgery. It's like running a marathon. It's an all day surgery when I do a full face. So this part is not for the weak stomach. What Dr. Garcia Rodriguez does is incredibly intricate and precise. She peels the face down and shaves off all those masculine facial features ushered in by puberty and locked in by manhood. When we're doing the forehead feminization, we are making an incision from ear to ear, get rid of the bone that's masculine across the forehead, reshape it and reset it with titanium plates. We also lift the eyebrows. And then the other thing that we do in some patients is that we alter the shape of the hairline to make it more more rounded from a square one. For the Adam's apple reduction, uh, we make a tiny incision that's as thick as, that's as wide as my thumb. We go down all the way to find the thyroid cartilage. We find the vocal cords before we even do the surgery because the vocal cords are hidden. If I were to snip too much cartilage off to give her a flatter contour, we actually can make her voice worse. The vocal cords are critical because if not done correctly, while Devin could have a woman's face, she would have a deeper male voice. And then there's the nose. Men's noses and women's noses are very different after puberty. And when Dr. Garcia gets to the nose, you can see in her eyes that she knows she has changed the face value of yet another life. Within two weeks, Devin goes from being heavily bandaged to just a few bandages. And then finally, a follow-up with Dr. Garcia. Almost off. It is cute as a button. Yeah, I can see. Uh-huh. She had a little bit of a little prominence on the side of her nose, and it is gone now. Um, there's a little indentation from the, from the tape right here. And I feel like I look happier because I feel happier. <laughs> For sure. It's so important to people because it really empowers them to be in the face of who they were meant to be. Those last few face dressings are removed and so are any traces of a male face and neck. And she does a complete about face. It's not really like even necessarily being trans, but just like finding like more self-love. And I think that like these surgeries like have helped me like find that part of myself, how I feel like on the inside to look on the outside. So I want to show you a picture that Devin sent me. So this is a picture that Devin sent me this afternoon. It's been a couple of weeks and you can see how well she's healing. But this is what I want to call your attention to. The eyes. They're smiling because when she feels good, when she looks good, she feels good about herself. She still has another big surgery to go. She has to do a genital reassignment surgery. Some is, sometimes it's called a sexual affirmation surgery. But just a quick note, guys. I just want to give a shout out to Devin and if you saw our story last night at 11, look for it if you didn't see it on Emily, the courage to come out and talk about these stories so they can help educate us all. Guys, so much credit to Devin sharing that story. A hundred percent and not to mention, she looks beautiful. She really does. Yeah. Great work from the team over at Henry Ford. Thank you very much, Paula.